what happens to um, the mom during a pregnancy with gastroschisis is, has mostly to do with ultrasound. So it's important to feel comfortable with how the pregnancy is kind of planned around that. After your initial diagnosis and confirmation of the diagnosis, you do meet with a pediatric surgeon Make sure that you're comfortable and understand all of what's going to happen once the baby is born and you can plan well for that. For the remainder of the pregnancy, once that diagnosis is made, generally we watch the baby about every four weeks or so to make sure the baby's growing well and that the amniotic fluid is looking good. If there's any question about the size of the baby, we will step up that ultrasound to a more frequent interval. Same for the fluid. Besides the ultrasound, another very important thing that needs to happen is that the um, uh, baby has a test called a non-stress test, sometimes just abbreviated as NST, and we do that once you're about 32 weeks. This is a way to make sure that on a week-to-week -week basis, the baby's doing great. It provides terrific reassurance both for you as well as for the, the team taking care of you. So about once a week you have this NST just involves laying on a stretcher and having a belt around the belly that lets us listen to the baby's heart rate. It's very relaxing and uh, beyond this and the ultrasound it's just a waiting game.